You got this one, Jeremiah? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. So you gave a speech. <laughs> uh, a little, a little speech. Like two words? Yeah. I asked you the other day, what would it take for you to give a speech? I guess, what, 265 all-purpose yards and, <laughs> and coming out here and getting a win. What was, what was that like, actually? I'm going to go ahead and say something to these guys. Uh, really just them having my back the whole game. Just I can't do it all by myself, so it's definitely my old line They went crazy today. I feel like I just definitely needed them, giving them a shout-out and everything. What was the reaction to the guys when you actually did say something? Everybody just started cheering and everything. <laughs> this could become a thing, this, the post-game speeches. I mean, it seems yeah. like this is becoming a thing. Yeah, yeah, it could. I might start saying more and more. <laughs> Can you take me through the shovel pass and, and how that progressed? Oh, yeah. Uh, it was just good, good play call by uh, Chip Lindsey. I feel like he had it set up uh, directly, like how the defense was aligned and everything, so I feel like it was a perfect play call for him. All right, what do you remember about there was a drive where you got the ball seven straight times and started with a 43 yarder and then it ended with you getting a fourth and one touchdown. Just what do you remember about that sequence and just how you know frequently you were able to get it that time? Uh, I just knew I just knew I had to, uh, if it's fourth and one or we're uh, close to the goal line, I know I had to get it in. Mm -hmm. I knew that's uh, one of the main things I wanted to do, so I just had a mindset that I wanted to finish it. Were you tired after that sequence, you know, getting it, you know, seven times in a row? Uh, well, I wasn't really thinking about tight I was just trying to get it in the end zone right now. 35 touches. Yep. Yeah. Again, we asked you the other day about 47. If you could get to 47, yeah. you just, you don't appear, you, your 35th touch looks the same as your first touch. It, 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 how, take us through that. Take us through having a 35th touch and being able to continue playing at that same rate, that same level. Uh, it's really just a mindset, just uh, trying to get it each and every play and everything like that. And then O-line, they're doing a good job blocking everything. So if they can get me to the second level, well, then I got to finish the rest. Uh, one thing that Max was saying to us is that the team that has you know taken the field the last two weeks is mm. closer to the team that he's been seeing in practice, things like that. What do you think the last couple of weeks has allowed you guys to you know allow what's taking place in practice to translate to the games? Uh, I just think we all got the same goal, same mindset, everybody on the same page, communication with each other, everybody just wants it all, and then I feel like we're just all putting all, all, all into it to finish off the season right. Maureen, your numbers in high school were crazy, obviously. Mm -hmm. Did, is that the last time you had a five-touchdown game? Did you have a five-touchdown game in high school? Uh, I'm not even sure. I think I think I might have one time in high school before. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously the first time in college. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did they do anything special for you? I mean, I know they were kind of mugging for the camera when you scored on the screen pass. Like, mm -hmm. I think JJ and those guys were holding up like <laughs> five hands or whatever. Did anybody do anything special for you when you got the fifth? Uh, no. Nah, but uh, me and they tried. We definitely like took a picture and everything after I beat uh, his record and everything. Was that on the sideline? Yeah, leave and the one with your own line too. Oh yeah, and I definitely took a picture with my own line. When was well. this? Lee Pace. Was Lee Pace tweeted it out during the game. Lee tweeted it out during the game. The photo? Yeah. The, the you and Nate, him and Nate Trump? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you know that you're the fourth Tar Heel to do that, five touchdowns in a game? Uh, yeah, they told me uh, – well, actually, not not the touchdowns. They told me uh, – after I got the fifth one, they told me about that. You told us a few days ago you're going to wait till the, after the season's over to think about stuff like that. But mm -hmm. you're in the moment now, five in one game, four Tar Heel to do that. What does that mean to you? With all the other boxes that you checked today. Uh – Something I probably more think about after the season. Right now, I'm just focused on the next game, trying to get ready for uh, beat the next opponent. Maureen, what's going on with your left eye? Did you get popped in the eye? <laughs> it's squinty these days. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Probably. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, have you noticed it? Like, it, we've noticed it. <laughs> no, I didn't even notice it. Uh, Coach Porter, he def he said uh, that my eye was like a little down or something like that. But uh, I didn't even notice it. Okay, so you're not, your vision is not affected in any way by this. No, that's it. All right. Mario, did a Mitch not have a reaction to you uh, passing this record? Or not just even a reaction, but did he have any special words for you knowing that you were passing the yards? Yeah, yeah, he's been joking with me all week about uh, just slowing down <laughs> so he can keep the record and everything like that. But, uh, yeah, it's all love between me and him and everything like that, so. So when you're racing 43 yards, you say, take a knee, take a knee. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, I mean, he said, uh, he said if anybody uh, the one to break it, he would definitely want me to break it. So I mean, it's all love between us.
All right, we got to roll AC through there. Thanks, Mark.